Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are making a major modification to the suspension on my 2023 Husqvarna FX350. What we have here is the K-Tech single side cartridge um, air to spring conversion kit. Now, the reason I went with this kit was for a couple of reasons. Um, a lot of people are familiar with the kit from Racetech, which is super common. But the Racetech kit, a couple things it doesn't have is, A, down here we've got a bot bottoming cup. Um, I guess it's they call it a hydraulic bottoming device. So this should prevent any metal-on-metal -metal banging. Uh, when uh, <clears throat> when and if you do bottom out the suspension. Um, as well, there is a preload adjuster on this device, which or on this conversion kit, which uh, Racetech also does not have. So, um, anyhow, I'm going to just get into it, and I'm going to take apart the fork, on my bike, which is right there. We're gonna get that all taken off and we're gonna swap this in and uh, we'll take it out for a ride and see if it's a, a much of an improvement over the air fork. Okay, so we are out here today on the 350. We're gonna test out this new uh, Spring conversion on the 2023 FX350. I mean, so far, just with this little bit that I've done, it's pretty dang good. Feels very smooth. like something maybe Well, that single track was short. Where'd it go? No, there it, there it is, right there. Okay, so track where I can get a better idea of how this new suspension feels. It definitely eliminated some of that harshness that I didn't even realize I had. I didn't think the air force were that bad. And I still don't. But this is definitely a little more plush, and uh, I don't have to worry about air temperature changing, the losing air, or anything like that, which was the main reason I did this in the first place was because the main seal failed on me once. That was enough for me to go, no, that doesn't work. I don't like the idea of a main sail fit, main wheel failing while I'm scooting down the trail. Want 
let him get up there before I try. Okay, Garmin, start recording. There we go. And we're recording again. Super busy out here today. Every corner has me spooked. See, there we go. Someone right there. single track that should be more fun than riding that dumb road. But I had to peel off because those guys just wanted to ride the road.
definitely feel like this purchase was a good one. I mean, the bike's front end feels more plush. Without losing any sort of stability, I mean, it's actually probably even a little more stable. But that's hard to tell at this point. I guess I should say something else here. I will admit that while this is an improvement, I wouldn't say that it's any sort of night and day improvement. You know, it's made a few things a little bit, a little bit smoother. Um, Smoothed out some of the harshness from landings. And as I've mentioned before, there's just a little added plushness that I gotta say I'm pretty I'm a fan of. It'll be really interesting when I get this on the motocross track. Probably 
put a little bit more preload on the spring and obviously adjust my clickers to increase dampening a bit and this is kind of where this ends 